after our extended stretch of even more hot summer days coming up this weekend. We tackled this good question last night. Jeff Wagner did it. Uh, it made a special term. It's thing is called heat dome. Yeah. So right? what is it? I mean, I feel like it's kind of what it, exactly what it is. It's a, it's somehow like heat that's trapped right. in there, right? Yeah. Is right. that what it is, Riley? Yeah. What's it's happening on in the atmosphere? Yeah. It just traps the heat? Yeah. I mean, it's kind of the opposite of what low pressure is. So typically, you know, air, when it rises, it can cool. And that's when you get condensation a lot of times and clouds and uh, rain and precipitation. Well, high pressure is kind of the opposite in the atmosphere. It traps the heat, uh, leading to an increase in temperatures at the ground level. So high pressure in the atmosphere acts like a dome and prevents the heat from dissipating. Oh. So as it gets hotter, it compresses, you know, it, it, go, it, 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 go, it sinks basically. Um, and so that's initially what happens. And when you have these domes of high pressure, um, they can last for a while. I mean, they can last yeah. for several days, up to a week, sometimes mm -hmm. maybe even a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, you have to think about it in general. So when we have this, which is basically what's happening now or today, um, you get multiple states and excessive heat yeah. warnings, heat mm -hmm. advisories, that sort of thing. Is this like the opposite of the polar vortex? Ooh. Well, it's kind of just, it's different in a way of how you have to look at different things, okay? So typically your jet stream will bring your storm systems through. This is is different. Your jet stream kind of rides up and along it, so or uh, above it. So when it can't disrupt that uh, dome, then you get it basically sitting on top mm. of you. Mm. And you get clear skies, you get uh, a lot of sunshine, Mm. Um, dry weather that can lead to droughts um, and typically of course when you think about it, vegetation when you don't have the soil uh -huh. um, right. wet your dew points will be much lower you get fire risks and it kind of mm. just keeps Ooh. adding up and adding up so Does that make sense like you can't break the dough. you just have to wait it out kind of yeah it, okay. it eventually breaks down mm. but I mean it leads to um, you know, long term, longer heat waves, that right. sort of thing, too. And it really starts disrupting vegetation, crops, for example. I mean, everything mm. kind of gets in the effect of it. Yeah, and the hard part, too, is this is happening in June, right? Where we have these really, really long days. Yeah. So you have the sun that's out for longer right. there, um, making it even tougher. And Riley, one of the things, and I just learned this a couple of years ago, you, of course, knew this already, but when you tell us these temperatures, these are temperatures that are taken in the shade. So you go out into the sun and you're talking, wait, could you be talking about like 10 degrees warmer? Mm. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah, yeah if you're in, in the, the heat of the sun, I mean, you're definitely gonna have it a lot uh, hotter, or at least you will notice the difference in it uh, for sure. So yeah, it's, it's one of those things that can, you know, be uh, be hard on on people in general, and that's why when we have these, it's kind of a, a flip of the switch. I mean, we've been dealing with cooler weather, and you know, more in the way people always ask, like, well, what happened to spring? It's like we initially go right into <laughs> summer, and it lasts, and it looks like we're going to have another one coming in into next week as well. Ooh, yeah. Oh, that's not pleasant. No. So just oh. have to. Hydrate. Yeah. Yes. Summer Stay in Minnesota. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Right. exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Just, we're not the only ones filling it. That's no. the thing. It's, yeah. it's a good chunk of real estate actually yeah. filling that too. Pauline, I'm going to remind you of this day <laughs> um, in the middle of February. Exactly. Yeah. I'm standing out there freezing in the cold you wearing know, my snow pants and completely bundled. You yeah. know what this is. Mm -hmm.